Okay, thanks for attending for tonight's session. Um, today, we will be sharing some of the um, info that actually don't reveal to the general public because I'm a practitioner. So basically, I'm, I use quite a lot of different type of a platform to advertise. Uh, basically, you can call it DM, direct marketing. So tonight, we have a sharing with you uh, what's the cost like, what's the cost like, and what's the ROI, and some of the tips that you can uh, use on your TikTok. After this um, set webinar, there's two outcomes. First, you can be a content influencer yourself, which you think maybe there's some inspiration that you have found, or you can actually go to be an advertiser for your business, uh, whichever you think is relevant. So we'll just move on to the slides. Um, we, this will be very interactive. So um, we hope that everyone will keep your open video when necessary, but not now. Um, we will tell you later. So we will be having some games as well. Uh, it's interactive. So uh, we want to keep you at fresh. So in case you fall asleep, this is very important. Okay. Okay. So as you know, TikTok actually is a uh, is taken over by a company called ByteDance. Okay. We are towing. Okay. So we will not touch very far on there, but we will only talk about TikTok tonight. Okay. So basically. TikTok is a, in case you are not sure about TikToks, can you have a share of hand? How many people are using TikTok now? Uh, just raise your hand. Okay, so basically we see four, four people raise their hands. Okay, so basically uh, out of 15, there's about, oh, sorry, out of 16, there's four. I think that's about 20%, okay, that know about TikTok, already have installed TikTok or actually uh, takes video on TikTok. Okay, so I've just go through a bit. What? Does TikTok do in basic? Okay, basically, basically TikTok is just like uh whatever app you have come across, like uh, Instagram or so ever that can allow you to take a video. But TikTok is very special in terms of it takes fifteen second video. You just need to take fifteen second and you can post it. So from fifteen second to sixteen second you can post it. Okay, so basically in this fifteen second, uh, as you can see on the slides, okay, it allows anyone to share. You can tag anyone, you can uh, go live, or you can even um, go some uh, ranking if you like. Okay, so basically, I will explain more on the second slide. Okay, promote as a video sharing social network. So you can see that people, um, especially Generation Z, uh, it's called the night after the, which is born after the night, 199, uh, two, uh, should be after the 2000. Okay, so basically, they are, they are, they are very interactive. So they create a lot of uh, videos that actually inspire a lot of people. Okay, so we are going, okay. Okay, so this is the fact sheet about TikTok. Okay, we will not be explaining everyone to you, but you can do a Google, you can do it. You can read it and Google it yourself later. So basically there's uh, some history about TikTok and also why TikTok is uh, famous. Of, of course, their revenue, of, of course to this, of course to you, maybe this is so important. Okay, so introduction. Why TikTok has become, okay, how many people, can okay, I know how many people actually post a TikTok video before? Please raise your hand. Okay, we have two or three, okay. So basically when you go to TikTok, right? If you, you have an app now, you go to TikTok. Once you open the apps, unlike other apps, it will show you some video that's very related, very new, like uh, Omicron virus, um, like, uh, Five percent, five packs dining, or so ever, so ever. So basically, it's an international platform with localized content. So they are not, uh, they were, their AI is very unique in the way that you only cater to the relevant people. So other people, uh, other you can say that okay, it's an international platform, but I don't want to see, I want to see other things. Can you can do it? You do a search by yourself. You can see all the things you want. However, they are trying to be localized. So whatever you you want to whether you want to like it you like it to watch it or not they will try to push it to you that's the difference okay so in the static way um in tiktok key statics this is some of the revenue that make okay but of course this is also not important to you about for today the only facts you want to remember for today perhaps it is so i think you heard of this before donald trump want to ban tiktok during his term so let me ask you, what do you think he want to ban it in a way? What are your thoughts? And, and is this a very powerful ad? Or there's some conspiracy theory? 
You can leave it to the chat. Okay, just, just tell us by the chat. What's your thinking about this? Anyone? Anyone has an answer that want to share? You must think in the position if you are Donald Trump. Yes, he's, he feels threatened, but what he, what, why do he feel threatened, threatened in a way? Can you elaborate more why he feels threatened? Data sharing basically uh, is also a considered threat. Okay, basically Donald Trump, there's an expert team of advisor. Be it whether he used TikTok or not, nobody know. Maybe he's kept caught in maybe he's been caught in the media, he used TikTok, at least. Okay. So what is the threat that actually caused alarm to him? It's a go freak. TikTok has an explanation go freak that has never been before. However, I cannot reveal here be, to you because it's very skeptical. Okay, but I can check it out. Okay, the go freak is very um uh, expand. Uh, I can put it in a way. Um, you have come to a if you become a threat is because the AI in TikTok is very different, and the expert knew it. How do they know it? They read the data, and this data is presented to him. So he decided, I want something to mark down China. So I started with TikTok because they are the one they are going the fastest. And they are the one that pose a threat to him. But of course, whether it's uh, conspiracy theory, then we leave it. Okay, we leave it open. Okay. So there's nothing wrong or right. Okay. I just want to share with you the growth rate for TikTok is something very special. So why TikTok is so popular? Why is the unique, unique point? First, it's free for all. Okay. Anyone can be a content creator. What does it mean? It means that from the age of uh, maybe 16 to 80, anyone can join. Everyone can be a contenter, create content creator. So there's a, uh, so he also, he goes to a fair play. So everyone, regardless of a personal status, be it whether you are rich, be it whether you have a good knowledge, be it you are very good in studies or so ever, doesn't matter. Okay, it's fair play, regardless of race, regardless of color, or regardless of everything. User can role play on TikTok, which isn't possible in actual world. What does it mean? Some people, they like to role play. Um, I like to be a superstar, but I can do it in TikTok, but I can't do it in actual world. So it satisfies me in a way that I can achieve something out of uh, things that isn't possible. Short video that creates straight to a point. Because the short video is very short, so that's, it can be more easy to be uh, the objective can be more easy to achieve rather than a long video that talks about a lot of things. It's different, very different for YouTube. Tons of filter. So people can apply this different type of easy filter. So for me, maybe I don't know, I'm first, I'm very new to TikTok. So I can do whatever filter that applies to me and I make it fun. Of course, customer centric. Remember, if you go to YouTube now, you want to search something, and then uh, YouTube will tell you, okay, after you watch this video, how about I recommend another video for you? So you, the answer is yes or no. But uh, it's not a reason. Once you finish the video, the next video goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. Don't, uh, and there's a very important thing. There's one thing very important is that it's not in the slide, lah. I just share with you. It's the gesture. When you slide up the video, just like headphone, you see, sliding up is very easy. So it's very easy to see whatever video that's in random. So the video can keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Unlike uh, you go to a YouTube, or oh, today I watch a YouTube, I need to go to the next one. I press, I press, press, press. So it takes a lot of uh, consumer behavior. If you know that, so most people that watch TikTok is very different. It's not like um, YouTube and on Facebook. We talk about a, a bit more about the content creator versus others. Okay, so it's more easy to be a protagonist in TikTok compared to others. Why? Because you can gain like easily. So whatever reason, sorry, whatever excuses you have is not important. I start with zero basis, but I can, I don't require a lot of fences. 
that give me lights. So I can start with zero, but I can get a lot of lights, 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 lights. This is one of the things that's very straightforward. Okay, of course, TikTok pay their content creator, but not in Singapore yet. Very sorry to say. But, it's, but they have a fund that uh, actually pays a content, uh, create content creator in the US, but they will be launching it for Asia now. Okay, content, uh, TikTok video are easy to handle, create, and post. And most, most importantly, is making it Vera. Vera meaning that I can share, I can tap, or I can put, put in many kind of, uh, I can post it to other platforms as long as I want, okay? So for you, it's a feature that recommend the video to user based on previous liking with high appreciation rate. For you, remember, for you, when we watch video, there's something say following, and the next one is for you. So TikTok has this function called for you. So most of our video, they watch it recommended is called for you. So this is the key features that are very different. I, today, um, I'm sick of watching what I follow. I just want to see whatever that's um, recommended to me. So I can just switch the line to follow you. Now we go a bit deeper into marketing. As you can see, uh, before I go on further, can I just know how many people is still um, reading newspaper? The rest of hands. You don't need to be daily, just weekly. How many people are still reading newspaper? Magazine? How about do you read magazine? Okay, let me ask you a question. If you think this question is relevant, please raise, please raise your hand. Do you, do you came across an advertisement in the newspaper that entice you or in the magazine recently? Okay, one. Okay, you can see it's not, not much. Reason being that most people, advertiser now is very smart. They know where do the consumer go. So they, there's a lot of things they can avoid the cost and they, they rather do it in mobile. So let me ask you, I believe everyone has a mobile phone right now. So how much time do you spend on a mobile phone per day? If you have more than three hours, please raise your hand more than three hours. Okay, how about two hours? Just two hours, be it whether you watch YouTube, Facebook, or so ever. I need people more than two hours per day. Okay, so I think the last question is not necessary because one hour, most people will spend more than one hour on their phone per day, which I believe so. Now, this is the very important thing. Okay. The, power of, the power and speed of video today. Most of us, please, you can read this at yourself. Okay, I'll just explain to you. Most of us couldn't remember so much thing per day. Right to say? So, why video? Have, can create impression. Okay, human per perception is mostly visual. So over 90% of the daily preceded information come from visual receptors. What does it mean? That means we, most of us basically don't, read, don't like to read words. Most of us can remember images, but most of us only remember images that's interactive, that's called video. So 70% of the consumers say that they share a brand video. 72% say that the video has improved their convention rate. 52% of consumers say that watching product videos make them more confident in online purchase decision. What does it mean? It means that if you show me, this thing will work. 
by your demo video, most likely I'll consider to buy. Unlike you, you show me a piece of paper uh, with artwork, most likely I'll consider first. Okay, so this is very direct to that. 65% of the executive visit the market the website and 39% call a vendor after viewing a video. So do you think video is a good marketing platform for yourself or for your business? Let me ask you, today, uh, this actually is a two model, okay? One is called reactive model. One is called proactive model. Reactive model, what does it mean? Okay, today, there's a case of Omicron. So I'm going to go to, if let's say previously, I'm going to Yahoo to search the news, right to say. Then, then the news come back to me. And then I read, right? So this is our model. Uh, of course, right now you go to Google. You will just say, search Omicron or so ever, okay? So you go to a news feed, okay? So this is the old one. The proactive model is news feed to you. So in, you, will, you will have low involvement. What does it mean? User, today, I just opened my TikTok. There's some video say Omicron. It's been circulating. So the feed come to me. I don't need to read. I don't need to search at all. And I understand hey, there's an Omicron case going up. The case is escalating. So I, I can understand from here that I, uh, there's an Omicron cases. But the involvement is very low because I don't search. In fact, uh, most of the news can be pushed to us right now, right to say. So most of them uh, have lot to put, to be very, very sim to simplify. There's many, many news today. So why is the most, why the good AI can capture the good news to the relevant people? That's the catch. So in TikTok, for instance, today my liking is, um, I want to see people dance. I want to see, um, some of the stunts, I want to see a challenge. Okay, I just see for once. If I see for once, I watch video, I watch finish the video, TikTok recognizes this. And TikTok will say, okay, next time I recommend you the same thing. But how do TikTok recommend you the same thing? They see which video has most viewership. After the viewership, they'll see that this viewer watch finish the video. After they watch a video, they they analyze. Oh, this video, this must be some juice. There must be something very very special. So I push it to the pool, uh, pool of audience. So from this, people start to know. Hey, uh, this news I never read before. How come it post to me? This is the trick of the TikTok. So this is why the AI suggestion is a bit different. Let me ask you. Um, anyone watch YouTube every day per week? Every day. <laughs> okay, I just want to know every day one. That's very important. How long the How long do you watch? YouTube per day. Do you mind to key in the hours here? How long do you spend on YouTube? Four to five hours is quite long, I believe. 60 minutes, one hour, two to three hours. Okay. So let me ask you, I believe most people is not YouTube premium. Okay, so how many ads does it come to you or intercept you in a way? You can you recall? Okay, purchase premium is not counted because we really pay, so they don't charge. Okay, put it this way. 
I'm right to say, the longer you watch the video, the longer you stay with YouTube, they can give you more ads to watch. So when the video just started, they are the king. Because they command. They can command is because they have a lot of YouTube users. In fact, YouTube most people spend two to three hours. From of course, that's the initial stage. Lah. Right now, maybe you spend five minutes to even shorter, or you sometimes you just search the video you want to watch. Right? So basically, if you watch YouTube for two to three hours, you can maybe you can get maybe let's say 30s. So this 30s is a value. Okay. So today you don't watch it. Let's say for example, today you don't watch it anymore. You just switch something else. Then YouTube, the value will drop. Reason why, why is, what is the reason? The reason being is that you are not staying with them. You are just like, uh, we are just like a of life. You feel that this is not the thing for me. I want to spend my time wisely to somewhere else. Okay. So the model, so on the slide, it says that the model are differentiated by the duration the user stay on the platform. But I think if you stay longer, they have a higher variation because my revenue will become higher, this for sure. So for instance, right now, you go to Google, you search something, you only take you five minutes, but Google doesn't need an income because nobody click them, right? Most of the, most of the other, you have just impression it's not enough. Vice versa, if you watch a 30 minute video, it gives you in the side view with five to 10 advertisement, right? I do say, okay? But I'm not sure because uh, currently in this webinar, not everyone is a TikTok user. So I can share with you if uh, TikTok intercept you to you, you know how you can cancel the video. I believe most people, they, they don't know how to cancel the TikTok video that's been intercept. Okay, so the generation Z, Z have a higher acceptance for new product and they can Google themselves after they watch the advertisement. What, what does it mean? That means that today, if I watch uh, something very interesting, I never come across my mind. I've never seen it before in TikTok. Uh, most likely, I can Google myself. After I feel that it's enticed to me, I, first, I can Google myself. So actually, I don't need to Google first. I can do it later. So the thing is that they are very different. They are very, they are very open to it. Okay, what does it have? Why they have an impact? We'll show. We'll tell you later. Okay. So, so most people say that TikTok is very for very new. It's for young people. So the audience is very young. So let me ask you. Today you are in business. You prefer a young audience or old audience? I think you prefer a young audience. Why? Because these these people, they are either working or going to be a working adult, a professional. So they will actually influence the elder generation. What does it mean? Can you probably recall that when the first thing started media is called VCD. Uh, VCR, in, in fact, VCR. So my father actually was a lot of a VCR. But one day I told him, father, why don't you watch VCD? VCD is better than v VCR which is the tip. So he said, why do I want to watch VCD? I already used to VCR. Okay, so I persuaded him to watch VCR. And then what few days few years later, I persuade him again. Why don't you just watch DVD? DVD is even better, higher quality. Mm, he thinks it sounds right. Okay, but I don't know how to use, you teach me. So I teach him how to use, watch DVD, which is the same. So this few years, I tell him, I told him, why don't you watch Netflix, which is even more easier. Uh, but I don't have an internet. I don't know how to use the internet, uh, but I can learn about you or you show me. So I show you how you, you can actually select Netflix or something or YouTube. So what does it tell you in the story? The story that I'm going to tell you is that the, the younger generation always push around and it can actually influence the elder generation. So most people you can see right now is 35 for sure, but you'll come out in a few years time, maybe you will come up to 45. Most people, they, they're using TikTok, maybe become 45, 55 or 65. Or even, you know, Alamak, the famous actor, 
uh, comedian. Uh. He also has a TikTok, but I can search it later. Uh, but you see his age. The audience also like him. So it's very, uh, it, it's, it's very hard to say. Okay, so some of the TikTok business model. Okay, we don't explain it here too, too much. Uh, so you can see, okay. So should we consider TikTok as our advertising platform for our business? Okay. AI versus human-centric, what does it mean? A lot of companies, they are trying to be very AI, but less human-centric. While TikTok has balanced it by doing very human-centric in an AI way. So unlike most of the platform, TikTok allowed the audience to target precisely for the entire audience. This will, what does it mean? Today, if I'm going to advertise, but I just, it's for mass audience, but I don't know who are my pool of customers. You need to spend a lot of money, okay? Vice versa, this allows a lower cost and higher ROI. Uh, the cost range will work, work between $20 to $50 per day, okay? And of course, the first penetration will be Z generation, okay? The Z generation is the first one that you'll, you'll come with. Inside marketing, you can be your own network and fans. This you have no loss because whether you succeed or not, you still can be your own network and fans. If you have a brand name to go with, okay. Next slide. Okay, I sh I'm going to share something with you very new. It's called Bank. Bank is kind of reward marketing. Anyone play games here? Online game? Raise your hand, please. Who, want, who play online game? A mobile game, please. Sorry, mobile game. Use a mobile device only. Okay, four is enough. So can I ask, when you play a game, sometime an ad intercept you and it says that uh, you watch a video for 30 minutes, for 30 seconds, I'm going to give you extra life. Do you came across this? This is called reward marketing. Why? There's no way to skip it because first you need to finish the ads. So after the ads, then it allow you to gain extra life. But be it whether you like it or not, you, you actually has already absorbed the apps. This is called reward marketing. This is the most easier way to explain to you, okay? Impression is delivered, um, just like traditional TV. Be it you like it or not, I'm there for you. I will keep bombarding you until you cannot take it. Until you one day you find that, oh, this is the thing I need. I need Panadol, I'll buy this brand. Whatever I need, I have very impression. So this actually is for impression tip. Okay, so basically there's a few types of uh, reward marketing. This is actually one of the platform that actually TikTok has, but actually it's not revealed to a public because most people, they take it as a TikTok. Okay, so in fact, there's bank. There's two, two things together. So there's reward video marketing ads. Okay, and intercept, intercept is why I save lah. So there's native ad or you can, there's some banner. Ad. So what is the differences? Differences is anything in the mobile can be always more interactive. Okay, we're going to show the next one. Okay, so you can see there's some small banner here, right? Can you zoom in please? The small banner here. The, at the mountain there. Okay, this actually, you can see, at example, at example, okay? So basically, it's a banner. Okay, and you actually go to it. The difference is that this platform only go to the mobile one. You target on the mobile user. Unless we go to Google, okay, there's a lot of uh, other content that we don't see, okay? So this is the one that works very well. Next, next slide, please. Okay, you see this? This is a uh, gaming. But why does it use a blank? It's reason because I want you to, I want to play a game with you. So after you 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 call, you you make the right choice, okay. Okay, you succeed, and I give you something. Then go to my website. Of course, this is very open. You can do whatever thing you you think is possible, uh, Then you can actually engage someone to do it. Actually, it's not that difficult. So it's just a very very simple game, very very simple one. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to share you some real statics that I've been using. 
okay, for my company. So basically, you see our dashboard. Okay. From November 2021 till now, okay, can you zoom in, please? We have uh, actually advertised one, uh, two twice on this campaign. So you see, we pay about $2,000. And nineteen dollars. Okay, we have a one million, one point three million impression. Okay, and the clicks is about uh seventeen, seventeen, uh hundred seventeen thousand Okay, so we can see. Okay, the next one. This is actually from a uh, TikTok, not from me. It is from the TikTok uh, platform that we retrieve the data. Okay, it's the real data. So we can see most people in the TikTok, uh, male is fifty one. Put it as 52%. The female is about 40, 47%. Okay, so what does it relate to you? There's more male user because male like to see female in TikTok. It's very natural. Okay, so you can see the operating OS. This is this is good for you. Most people are using Android, and most uh, less people are using iOS. Reason being Android has a bigger migration. So most people they use Android to do it uh, and watch uh, whatever apps you have, which is very natural. Okay, iOS is a smaller percentage. Next slide, please. Okay, so we can see it improve our website. Okay, from okay two hundred forty three more visitor compared in the same period of time. And 142 more unique visitor. Unique visitor meaning that they are totally new. The IP address or whatever is totally new. So you can see there's a okay. You can see the trend is going up very steadily. Okay. Of course, uh, the next one is a uh, two, three, six more page visitor. Okay. So of course we don't we don't do a lot of pages for people to visit. We just do one page. Okay, this is just for our testing sake. Okay. This next slide. Okay, so there's some TikTok marketing ideas. Yeah, hashtag uh, creative rare content, takeover ads, hashtag brand ads, native video, influencers, key and eye on trend or coming 3D. Okay, this is some of the ideas that you can uh, use if you want to use on uh, your video. Be it whether it's advertising or not advertising, okay, you can keep it for yourself. Okay, so this is the hashtag challenge. For instance, you want to do something, okay? So we provide you some hashtag. Actually, it's not difficult. This is all this data you can actually search online, TikTok for you. So I will follow. It's just very common one. The more common one is more easy to use. Okay, so take a look first before you want to post something. Okay, okay. So today we have a uh, we have a game. Uh, not a game. Sorry, an interactive session. So right now we are going to give you five videos. So these five videos actually can be used on TikTok advertising. And we want to brainstorm you, which one is the, is the best. So we let you choose. And you just need to type in uh, your comment later. So basically, okay, please read. Choose one video, okay, to choose two to three, lah, doesn't matter, okay? Create a video, uh, advertising tagline on the video you choose. Sample is opening promotion or so whatever. Okay, create three type of a target audience based on the target you wish to achieve. You must you must know who is your audience. This is very important. Okay, please follow the link. Okay, so this is the five video. Can you all watch it? So you can brainstorm now. Which one you think is the best if you want to use as a advertising media? Yeah, we don't have an audio for the video is that we don't want to interrupt you. So you must put in your audio at your mind. <laughs> we'll select some of the most creative comments. So try to be as creative as thing as you think is possible. Okay, perhaps I give you some I give you some tips. You can do the number three at the fire sale. 
you can say fire sale or something. For the first one, you can do go for a state vacation or something. Of course, of number two, I don't think I need to say anything. It's very straightforward already. So if you want, you can still add in the comments. I think the video one has the most response. Okay, so we we'll see video one. Okay, dance to the Christmas weekend. Christmas, Christmas shopping, good. Let's go to the, get, let, get off the stress of this holiday season and order from our app for 50% discount. Audience, women, young professional teens. Okay, free yourself with the XYZ shampoo like you never experienced before. Okay, this is also very good. Okay, the next one. Funding for nature. Okay, cool. Uh, scroll down, please. Okay. Fashion clothing, young men working class. Same, this also can be applied um, like going for a state vacation or whatever, discount, Christmas, dancing, which is possible, okay? So the last one is hands-free shopping and the audience is women, online shopper and busy professional, okay? Do you actually find that these, these five videos is a common point? Okay, these five video actually, they are somehow distinctive. They are a bit different, okay? They are not their common advertising way. Why we want to show you this, there's reason behind. If you want to be distinctive and outstanding on your ads, you need to find some way to catch the attention first. So be it very, uh, because it doesn't, it's not very important that you need to advertise fully on your product. You can actually make a link later. So when people go to the link uh, or the tagline, they can go to a website, understand more. So this is how the, the most of the video book online, especially short video. So you can see the most of video is quite short. Okay. So if you think that uh, if you want to create a good impression, first of all, you must have a good tagline and we'll show you later. What is the golden rule of the video marketing? First, easy to understand. Remember, video marketing is for the average person. What does the average person mean? That means it can be for anyone. So don't make your video too high-end. Clear and nimble. Do not create different impressions that confuse the audience. Do not try to sell A, B, C together. Don't try to sell too many things together. Just bring the right message. Deliver your objective. That's very important. Because if you don't deliver your objective, that there's no one draw. So you must whether to determine whether you are fussy or not, you must create, you must deliver your objective. For instance, you want people to go to a website. For instance, you want to people to uh, download your apps. For instance, people you want people to uh, to go to your sales uh, objective. Okay. And the three major pitfalls of video marketing. Okay. First, repetitive of boarding content that cannot that can't attract attention. Um, try to use new content. Okay. So if you think one day you want to do a TikTok video for advertising, try to bring new content to the audience. Of course, don't use a low resolution video and poor editing because it only will degrade your brand for sure. If you do, people will think that, hey, where do you copy from or where do you download from? That's very, um, I would say, not on power. So it's better for you to use a high res and with a good, some good editing. Of course, good editing is just, um, you need more time. And the most important, don't infringe copyright or brand DNA that are unethical. For instance, you see some brand that's very doing very well. You copy the same video and you do it. Then that's not good. Okay. So trying to do something that's origin out of your own, then people will try their best um, to understand. 